it basically means word for word. So if I say something and this my friend they say the exact same thing, then he has copied me verbatim. So verbatim plagiarism is copying exact words or sentences from a body of work without quotation or proper referencing. So if you go to a paper that has been published online and you just copy a sentence and paste it into your own work, you don't paraphrase, you don't reference, you don't cite, you don't put quotation marks, nothing, then that is verbatim plagiarism. You basically just copy it and paste it. It is wrong. This is most common in the introduction and discussion section of a manuscript because that's where you basically have to take ideas from other people's work. The second type of plagiarism is mosaic plagiarism. So this happens when your words are mixed with someone else's ideas and opinions. So for example, there's a sentence in an article that has been published online. You want to use that sentence in your own words. You remove one word that the person used and replace it with another word from your own, from your mind, and you paste it in your work. And you probably don't properly reference, properly cite. That is mosaic plagiarism. So from this image, the image, the image at the bottom, it's patchwork. So you can see there are two different fabrics. This is basically what mosaic plagiarism is. You are taking somebody's work, removing some parts of it, adding your own, and then presenting it as yours. This is wrong. The third form of plagiarism is paraphrasing. Now, paraphrasing is not completely a crime if you properly reference or cite the um, original body of work. And paraphrasing basically means rewriting a sentence or changing a few words of the original sentence without properly referencing the sentence. So you can paraphrase what someone has written in that, what you have, what someone has written in a published piece of work, you can paraphrase it in your own words and present it as your idea, but you have to reference the original article. So paraphrasing without referencing the original article is wrong. Cyber plagiarism is copying or downloading a research paper or idea in part or whole and not giving proper attribution. You'll be surprised that people actually do this. You have an assignment and there's a similar article online. You just go copy the whole thing, paste it into your work and submit. It happens. It is very wrong. Image plagiarism. This one, when I heard about this, it actually surprised me because this is basically using an image without receiving proper permission or providing appropriate citation. So if you just go on Google, take an image, use it without proper permission or citing, this is wrong. So image plagiarism is a type of plagiarism. In the image on the right, this part that is circled, oh sorry. This part that is circled down there, you can see it says images may be subject to copyright. Now, copyright means that the original creator of the product and anyone they give authorization to are the only ones that have the exclusive right to reproduce the work. So, if you see an image that you want to use in your thesis or paper or dissertation and it says it is copyrighted or you have to seek permission to use it, please do so. Don't just copy and paste it into your work and always give credit and eh? cite the source of what you got the image from. Now this is the last type of plagiarism I'll be talking about, which is self-plagiarism. So this is actually a form of plagiarism that is highly frowned upon in academia. On this image, you can see the person saying, or the caricature saying, oh no, I forgot to do my science project and it's due tomorrow. And the same thing, maybe I said, you used last year's paper. So for example, you have an assignment or a project to submit. You've done something similar in your previous university, and now you're in powerless to, and you say, oh, it's a different university. Let me just copy and paste the whole thing. That's mine. Very wrong. Please do not do it. 
So there are different types, there are different forms of self deterrent Duplication, segmentation, augmentation, and recycling your own work. Duplication, just like it means in English, it means to duplicate, to do the same thing. So duplication is publishing the same information a second time without acknowledging the first. So for example, you published an article or you submitted an assignment. And now you want to use this for something else, or you want to use sections of it for something else. Even though you are the one who wrote the initial article, you have to still reference yourself when you are using it the second time. And then this other type of self-pleasuring is segmentation. This is basically dividing one significant piece of work into smaller experiments. So you do a large um, study. And then, because you want to increase the number of publications you have, you now say, okay, let me divide this, I'll use this part, I'll publish this one part, publish this other part in another journal, publish this third part in another journal. That's known as segmentation and it is wrong. The rule is that you do one study, publish one article, not one study, multiple articles. Augmentation, as the word means, is when an author's own published work expanded upon and then publish a second 